Yeah. I, got, I got to say, I'm a huge fan of this radio. Tim, I don't know how much you know about CW, if you're a CW op or not, but what's your what's your take on this CW decoder that's built into the radio? Well, you know, it's uh, I don't know yet. I don't. I, I don't know CW well enough to validate it uh, other than being able to sit in front of it and see if I could follow along with it. And does it make sense? Like I, I could take things like I understand the, uh, you know, what a, a, a back and forth transaction looks like in a, in a, uh, a POTA uh, QSO. Right. So I could, I could validate that and, you know, does that make sense? Um, things like the, was it the ARRL bulletin that, that goes out on a regular basis? Now I think that's machine. Uh, yeah, it's a computer that runs that. Yeah. Nobody's yeah, sitting there pounding that out for hours at a yeah. time. CW. So, um, but I, I did play with it when I, when I first got the radio and it, uh, it seemed to be pretty adaptive uh, to, to speeds and stuff like that, where a lot of these other manual, uh, or automatic, you know, readers, uh, tend to be, you had to kind of, uh, butts with the speed a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. 